Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode in Software Engineering and Salesforce. Going to start a new series this week. Uh, we're going to cover some of the refactoring patterns from the classic book Refactoring by uh, Martin Fowler, uh, also with Kent Beck. Got it up on the screen. I think this is an important book and I think it should be on every engineer's bookshelf. And frankly, these are shorter videos to make. So uh, on the weeks where I'm a little pressed for time, I thought, you know what? Hey, I'll hop on and we will cover a, a refactoring pattern. So this week we are going to do replace conditionals with a guard clause. Open up IntelliJ. Whoop, there it went. Bring it back. There we go. Uh, so the idea behind this pattern is, let me click, fix my typo there. When we have, so this is from the section in the book uh, to simplify conditional logic. And if you're like me, I find conditional logic to be probably one of the hardest things in code to wrap my head around, especially when it gets complicated. Lots of ifs and elses. We throw some, you know, some knots in there, ands and ors. Um, and I think it gets really hard to follow, really hard to test. So the idea behind replace conditionals with a guard clause is that we have code where the conditional logic has sort of obscured the normal flow. So we've got here this kind of fake, you know, class, you know, replace conditional with guard clause and a method called get pay amount. And the normal flow of this code, these are all kind of exceptions, right? We're going to return, you know, the dead amount, the retired amount, the separated amount. 99.9% uh, .9 of the time this code runs for our employees, right? It's going to return the normal pay amount. But that's sort of obscured uh, in the code, right? And it starts to have a lot of fairly complicated conditions to test. So that's what replace conditionals with guard clause is all about, right? So what we do is we just approach this. And I guess I want to say when I start this, um, because these are designed to be short videos, so we're not doing TDD. Good unit tests are essential to refactoring, right? Um, if you have good tests and you know your code works, you can refactor fearlessly because you know you didn't break stuff. Um, if you have crap tests, you know what? Pause for a second and before you start refactoring, write the tests that you wish you had. <laughs> That's the light I always take from Kent Beck. Write the tests you wish you had before you dive into the refactor so you can be very confident that the changes you make didn't break your code. Otherwise, you will be paralyzed and you will live in fear and never want to improve your code base because you've got all this complicated code and there's no, uh, no test for it. But that's, that's enough of that, right? That's just my opinion on testing and refactoring. And so let's, uh, let's, apply, replace, uh, re let's apply this pattern to this method. So we've got if is dead, uh, result equals dead amount, right? And we, down here we return result. Uh, so you know what we can do. So what we're going to do, we're just going to kind of go through and we're just going to whack these things one at a time. I'm going to just say return dead amount and I'll put another curly brace up there uh, come on there there we go all right else and we're gonna get rid of this right. and we are just gonna kind of go through I'm just gonna whack these if is retired right. we're gonna get rid of that just Return retired amount. All right. And we've got all our methods down there, right? Then we're going to go down. We're just going to keep cleaning these up. So we've got all these methods down here. And they don't do anything because for the purpose of this video, they don't need to. I'm going to say if is separated. return the separated amount. Okay. Go and we'll throw another curly brace on there. Else, return normal pay amount. So let's get rid of We don't need any of that. And we're going to bring that up. And we can just say return normal pay amount. And now we don't need we don't need this return statement. 
And this variable up here is not doing anything for us anymore. Go down, clean that up. And that's it. We have applied the pattern. This is replace conditionals with a with guard clauses. Right? So we've taken that conditional logic out. These are now what we call like our guard clauses. If it's dead, return that. If, right, return that, return that. But this is our normal flow. Return the normal pay amount. So when our code runs, like, and this is pretty obvious if I'm looking at that, that's, that is, these are all exceptions. This is what we expect to happen the vast majority of the time. So that's it. That is Martin Fowler. That is the refactoring pattern. Replace conditional with guard clause. See everybody in the next one.